right this block can happen to the best of us. We don't know when it's going to begin and we certainly don't know when it's going to end. Now there are certain ways to tackle right this block and one in particular is by forcing creativity using some sticky notes, an online word generator and a little imagination. Like we say a lot of the time, getting the film look is more than just camera settings and fancy shots. If your film doesn't have a story, it won't feel like a real film. And if you are struggling to get ideas for a story, you can use a technique we call story in a can. It's a simple trick and you want to use four different categories. Character, location, object and scenario. Using an online word generator, write out 20 of each category onto some paper, fold them up and place them into some sort of container. We used four tin cans and labelled them. The word generators we used can be found in the video description. Then it's a case of picking out one bit of paper from each can and creating a storyline using each category. So if every unique combination gives us a different storyline, this means that 20 to the power of 4 gives us 160,000 different combinations. We're probably wrong, so leave us a comment if you actually know the answer. Each item doesn't have to be super detailed. We stuck to a few bog standard occupations for characters like teacher, bartender and bank manager and added a few obscure ones like medium and funeral director. The locations were things like public toilet, a beach and a supermarket. The objects were things like matches, a fork and some more complex ones like somebody else's wallet. And the scenarios we wrote down were things like a job interview, your nana going insane, an eating contest and an exam. By keeping them simple, strange and a little bit vague, it means that you've got more blanks to fill in and you can stretch your creative muscles. Now sometimes combinations can be incredibly difficult and if this does occur, you can cheat a little bit. For example, if the location you picked was a mountain top but it didn't fit very well with your other items, you can always say it's a restaurant named the mountain top. This is an example we came up with. All right, do you want to pick a character? Yeah, I'll pick I'll a character. I'll get a location going. Sure. A museum curator. So someone who looks after museums, uh, picks what's in a museum. Farm is the okay. location. Do you want to pick an object? I'll yeah. get a scenario. It's a little bit obscure, but we'll... There's a video game manual. Okay. And, whoa, shoot out. <laughs> shoot out. So we have a museum curator. So this could be a man or a woman, we don't know. Um, the location is a farm. Um, object, they're using a video game manual yeah. and they're having a shootout of some kind. Yep, so. okay. Museum curator, we've decided that this is going to be 200 years in the future and we've got an Indiana Jones style character. He's on a farm because he's just discovered an item which is priceless and it's a video game manual. Now that everything's digital, Physical copies of video game manuals are incredibly expensive and he wants to put it into his video game museum mm -hmm. and there are some evil people who are shooting at him because it's probably an action adventure film. Oops. Should we give it a name? Final level. What about turn to page 12? Oh, turn to page 12, I like that. Um, walk through? Walk, walk through, yeah. Walk through. Actually. Speed run. Speed run, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So anything like that. And yeah. I reckon you could get some form of a story or some characters out of that like you might use or in this summer. Use the notes however you want to use them. The stories you come up with might not be great and it might just be a case of using that exercise to get past your writer's block but you might stumble upon your next great script idea. We actually did this technique for a vlog episode which is linked on screen and down below. We thought it was an awesome idea and wanted to share it with you. We've also decided to make Story in a Can a regular segment on our Sunday show, so if you want to see what other ideas we come up with, you can find them there on the Film Look Vlogs. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.